The realm of the Druid Pools is an ancient island that rises out of the Dust Sea. A thick enchanted forest grows across the region, glowing green with energy and can even sparkle with ethereal life. In the center of the island is a massive enchanted lake that extends for miles. The water is pristine and the lake can even sparkle with the same ethereal life that enchants the forest. Within the island of enchanted energy, the last of the ancient elementals roam. Ethereon, a giant earth elemental, he towers over the valleys and forest tops, his steps like many earthquakes. He wanders the woods, tending the land, and when he sits, he appears as a forested hill. He is patient and kind, often filled with wisdom. Fyriel, the fire elemental, is a giant beacon of flame that rises so tall it can be seen from nearly anywhere on the island. Her flames are enchanted and can burn in an assortment of color, the hues often expressing her sometimes erratic and eccentric emotions. She is rash and passionate, but always fair. Arion is a giant air elemental that lives as the clouds upon the sky. Floating above the island, he can take on the shape of humanoids, castles, and majestic landscapes, often becoming anything anyone can imagine. He is friendly, imaginative, and tends to enjoy the arts. Watrin, the water elemental, lives in the Great Lake and rises as a fountain. Sometimes he can take on the shape of a single giant spurt of water and become a hundred tiny fountains putting on water shows for anyone who comes to the lake's edge. He is childlike in his wonder and very playful, splashing those who come too close. The Druid Pools are home to the Arch Druids of the Imperial Federation. They gather from each world to discuss the breaking of nature and the Federation's exploitations. They discuss how to heal the worlds and hold the threads of nature together that are frayed under the Federation's rule. They often seek the wisdom from the elementals in the form of prophecies and divination. The ancient beings will not so much talk, but create visions within their energies by shaping the clouds, curling the flames, or moving the waters into images or warnings of coming danger. To aid the druids on their quest, the spirit of the old arch druids who have passed away wander the island as free roaming energy. They protect the island and prevent its corruption using their very souls to hold together the life force of the land. They will even act as guardians against invaders, chasing away the non-welcomed with spells and warnings before becoming hostile. They use lethal force if pressed as they refuse to let the unworthy walk the lands and only welcome the allies of nature. While the druids live where they please on the island, they gather at the circle of elements, a circle of logs that churn with the elemental energies of water, fire, earth, and air, and contain the carvings of the great deeds of the druid circles. Around the circles, the bastion of elements is constructed, a castle of four great halls made of stone and elemental energy. The druids can reside in the halls, or fortify against attack should it come to invasion, and is said the portals to each of the realms of fire, water, earth, and air are contained within. The bastion has also become the druid symbol of the Sindaran order, and often made of wood, either hung around their neck or carved out of their walking staves. Called the Elemental Cross, each point is painted as the symbolic elemental color, with the center being white to denote the elemental circle that binds all of them together. For more information on Druidic orders across the known galaxy, please refer to the Druid Codex of the Nine Orders, written by Odinus, Grand Druid of the Six Tribes of the Woodland Spirits.